Typhoid fever can be effectively treated with antibiotics. However, S. typhi has developed resistance against several traditional first-line antibiotics, including ampicillin, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, and chloramphenicol. As a result, empiric antibiotic treatment is now recommended with third-generation cephalosporins, azithromycin, or fluoroquinolones, except in South Asia due to emerging resistance. According to one study, steroids were life-saving adjuvants in severe typhoid fever. Relapse may occur in 1-6% to of patients and should be treated with an additional course of antibiotics based on sensitivities with the same duration as those with acute illness. A chronic carrier state also occurs in 1-6% to of patients and should be treated with fluoroquinolones for an extended duration, specifically ciprofloxacin 500 mg twice a day for 28 days. If antibiotic treatment does not successfully eradicate S. typhi, then cholecystectomy will be necessary for definitive cure. In many resource-limited countries, chloramphenicol is used to treat typhoid fever. Chloramphenicol has been highly and consistently efficacious if the strain is sensitive to chloramphenicol. However, many strains of S. typhi are resistant to this antibiotic. Additionally, chloramphenicol does not reduce the transitory carrier state or the relapse rate of 5 to 10 percent, nor does it prevent chronic carriage. Unfortunately, this antibiotic also has serious hematologic side effects, including anemia, leukopenia, and rarely bone marrow plasia. By definition, S. typhi is multidrug resistant if it demonstrates resistance to chloramphenicol, amoxicillin, and Bactrim. According to one study, 24% of isolates in the United States were resistant to one of these antibiotics, and 17% of them were multidrug resistant strains. Unfortunately, resistance to quinolones, the only antibiotic which reduces the relapse rate as well as the carrier state, is emerging. If a given strain is resistant to quinolones, an alternative treatment option is zithromycin for 10 days. Prevention of typhoid fever lies in increased levels of hygiene, adequate sewage disposal, and the provision of clean water supplies. Vaccinations are available that can provide protection for two to five years for the intramuscular and oral preparations respectively.